which are, are not measuring up. Yeah, Sarah, it really feels like the curse of the 2021 class of new listing. It continues. Roblox, Sweetgreen, trading in the red on wider-than-expected losses during their quarters. Coinbase also posted a steep loss and shares were lower after its report, although trading a little bit higher. Actually, no, they've gone back down today. Uh, the three went public last year. One for the new listings history books, nearly 400 companies pursued direct listings or traditional offerings last year, not including SPACs. That was the highest number since the dot-com boom and bust. Ultimately, the supply glut started putting pressure on most of these names toward the end of last year. As the Fed tightened, the declines continued this year. On average, companies that went public last year are down 39% from their listing price, according to data collated by CNBC. Investors treated these uh, treating these losses have been less inclined to put more capital to work in future new listings, leading to a massive slump in activity this year. In 2022, just 47 IPOs have priced in the U.S., down 83% from this point last year. Proceeds of $4.4 billion are down a whopping 95% from this point last year. Now, the average performance in this year's class is actually 71%, positive 71%, CNBC data show, but that's largely thanks to a few very important outliers, specifically AMTD Digital, a Hong Kong-based uh, fintech company that went public in mid-July and saw its shares Surge as much as 10,000% earlier this month. Today, still up more than 1,000% from its IPO price. So excluding five IPOs like AMTD that garnered potential meme stock status this year's crop, of deals is down about 8% on average, so in the red, but still much better than last year's IPOs. Perhaps a little bit of self-selection, though, going on with the types of companies that are going public this year.